Double 16, once again. Game shot on a fifth leg. Classic Derek, Derek Coulson. Coulson. Cool as a cucumber. This will be the last match of the group. The end of tomorrow. Will it count then? Can Coulson make it count here? He can. Game shot on a sixth leg. Derek After Coulson. a dart that I have to say went precariously close to the treble 20. He perfectly pitches that one in tops and will throw Seven first in the decider. Leg. It's Derek to throw first. Game on. Uh, Are we reading anything into that? Well, he's hit most doubles he's gone for, Game wherever shot. they've and been. And Derek he hits Coulson. that one as well. Coulson claims victory in the opening game. It was a tight one. It's one that Banks will feel got away from him, having opened up a 3-1 lead in that one. But 112 checkout turned things around for Derek Coulson. He then successfully popped in tops and double 18. Four out of six on the doubles. That is where the game was won and lost. Because as you can see, just three out of ten for Thomas Banks, who kind of snatched defeat from the jaws of victory. Credit to Coulson, though, for crossing the line. He picks up the first points of Group C. Game two sees the introduction on Champions Week of Paul Hogan, who takes on Jimmy Vansky. Tried to lob it Jimmy over the top, required 12. but it didn't dip enough. And look at the head go down. Oh, how things can change. His average is dipped by 10 points in this leg. And he may well be behind. Game shot on the fifth Jimmy leg. takes advantage Jimmy of the misses. Game. And now this game is very different in complexion. Sixth leg. It's Jimmy to throw first. Game on. If this was a cartoon, right now, there'd be a speech bubble coming. By 20. He doesn't believe he's coming back. And Ski for 10s. Game shot takes the, the game. Jimmy by Vansky. four legs to two. And when it was 2-2 two -two and Paul Hogan was in the distance in leg five, if you'd have said to Jimmy Van Ski at that point that he was going to win 4-2, he would not have believed you at all. But he will take it and he will run. A very good standard game. Jimmy has averaged more than that over the course of the week, but Paul Hogan will be ruining that because of the 13 missed darts at double. So now it's time to introduce the week two champion, Jim Long. And he's going to be up against the 2022 WDF world champ. That is the Duffman. Needs two perfect darts. Treble 20, not found. A drifter from Duff. 29. Who looks Jimmy like... He requires 16. A nightmare start awaits him. Game and Jim Long. And the match. Jim Long. He's a creator of that nightmare for Neil. It's a whitewash win for the Canadian. He was living up to his billing as one of the big favourites to get through from this group. You can see why he's been afforded that mantle. A 4-0 drubbing of Duff in the pair's opening contest. 89.73 the average, 40% on the doubles. Duff only got two darts at doubles in the game. He needs to go away to that practice room and work. Thomas Banks and Paul Hogan also lost their first games. That will change for one of them after the break. It's poorly require 40. He gets Great it done this time, Paul Hogan. and that is the most impressive performance we've seen so far today. And our second consecutive 4-0 victory for a senior player. And that's got his smile back, hasn't it? Not as good as the smile on the back of the shirt, and maybe he's feeling a little bit more relaxed like the crocodile, but 96.97 and 50% on the doubles. That would cheer anybody up, that's for sure. Without further ado, we'll take another short break now, but when we come back... It's a very quick return to the stage for the Duffman to take on Derek Coulson. He can't supersize it, so Coulson from 84. He should guarantee a shot at the bull at least. 60. Derek, you require 84. And Neil's coming up dry an awful lot early in this group. Bullseye it is. Game it's classic Coulson, leg. really. Coulson. Cool as a cucumber. And he looks so unflustered. Derek, you require 78. So, treble 18. For double 12. Game shot. And, and Derek, match, Coulson Derek Coulson. Causes more despair for Duff. It's back to back victories for Coulson. But it is back to back defeats. And not only that. 
back-to-back 4-0 defeats for Neil Duff. Who would have seen that coming before a dart was thrown in this group? Coulson takes Duff to the cleaners there, winning every leg, 93.94 the average. Again, some really effective finishing from Derek in that game. Four out of six in his first match, four out of seven in his second and he wipes the floor with Duff, who needs to lift himself off the canvas. He takes on Thomas Banks in what will be a crucial game in a couple of games' time. But before that, it is Jimmy versus Jim. Stay with us. Get past it. Long have made a real mess with the last dart he threw. Just needing to clean up five in bits here. Three. Can't do so. Jimmy requires a real opportunity 20. now for Van Ski to stretch his lead. And he's already hit double 10 in this match. He'll feel good about this. Game he's feeling great player, about this. Jimmy he's been given chances and he's taken them. Jimmy requires I'm not having 16. this. Is he having this? He is. Jimmy Van, Ski Jimmy Van Ski gets off to the perfect start in Group C. Two wins from two for the towering Dutchman who defeats Jim Long in the battle between two of the players expected to be challenging at the top end of the table. It's an average over 90 for Van Ski, who hit four out of his nine double attempts. Only one from eight for Jim Long, maybe where the game got away from him. But it's Van Ski who does the double and joins Derek Coulson in doing so after the first round of fixtures. That pair lead the way. At the bottom end of the table, Thomas Banks and Neil Duff haven't got any points yet. Neil Duff hasn't got any legs yet. Will that change? Find out after the break. But more so now because of him being a winner here. Yeah, and since then, management deal, darts manufacturer deal announced today. But that's Game the real deal of fifth leg. from Thomas, Thomas Banks. Banks, who produces a fabulous 147. 140. What is he going to do from 38? Is he going to leave 36 again? Or will he just go straight for it? 98. One thing this shot has got to have, 38. it's conviction. Chooses to split. Six for double 16. Game and shot. Neil and Duff Neil digs Duff. himself out of a hole, but maybe in doing so, buries Thomas Banks in it. A 4-3 win for Duff, who had lost every match, every leg before this game started, but he's picked up points now, and despite that blockbuster one four seven checkout from Banks, he finds himself once again at the foot of the table, just as he was in Group A. No wins for him so far. The only player without points in the group. And we're going to now move to the match between the middle two as Jim Long takes on Paul Hogan. It's Paul as if somebody put the handbrake on. Now the handbrake is definitely off. Double top. Acceleration. Just Paul like that. Hogan. Hogan is back after a bit of a break. Paulie the first time round. Hogan looking for back-to-back -to -back toppers Finds a 60. And the single. And the double. The leg. Well, what Hogan. a start to this game by Paul Hogan. You require 156. Well, it was an important extra 40 points because he got him down to the checkout and the way he's been going in the match, he might well take it out. He can do a double 18. He's already had a 151. He and adds a 156. Paul also a 120 in the game as well. Absolutely staggering stuff from Paul Hogan, who whitewashes Jim Long. Wow. 4 0. An average of 107 and change. Three ton plus checkouts in the match. The highest being that match winning 156. Four out of five on the doubles. And Jim Long, well, he didn't even get a go in the game there at the outer ring. Derek Coulson and Jimmy Vansky are waiting in the wings and they've just seen the standard set. Point nine. If he hits it with the first dart. Game shot. And the Which match. he does. Derek Coulson. Uh, Derek Coulson indeed posts those figures again. 101.9. But look at the stats for the finishing in this game because there is something special happening here with Derek Coulson. They say it's not about how you start, it's how you finish. And he's gone four out of seven in his last two matches, having gone four out of six in his first. That is world-class finishing. Any player in any tournament would take that every day of the week. And 
on this day of this week, this Champions Week, Derek Coulson has won every match. Three from three. What a start from him. Neil Duff against Paul Hogan. It's coming up next. Management. You require 156. He's done it once today. And there is nothing sweeter than a repeater for Paul Hogan, who takes out the 156 for the second time to to hurt Neil Duff. In this leg, double top. And with that 11 data to win the match, Neil Duff can't get enough of that wonderful stuff. That was a defiant performance from the 2022 WDF World Champion. He's going to take a little break right now, as will we, but those statistics do not tell you anywhere near what that game was all about. That 11 daughter at the end for Neil Duff might just be him putting his flag in the ground and saying, do not forget about me, I am here, and I've now got four points in the table, the same as Paul Hogan. Jimmy Van Ski and Thomas Banks are about to go toe-to-toe one more time here this week. They will have two more games for the rest of the week, but... As for today, we're about to find out who wins the fourth battle of Champions Week. In a daily sense, to see how many steps they would do, but I guarantee you it would be it would be five figures that easily crack ten thousand. One hundred and forty. Did he, did he, he just require one hundred and seven? Go for the one eighty there or one six five. I don't know what he was doing, quite frankly, 58. because Thomas, you or did he go for the 24. five and just pull it into the twenty? It, in the end, he scored a 140 to leave 25, a score that he's already no. bust in this match. Jimmy, you require 112. He's playing this game fast, kind of effective, and he could be 2 0 up on Jimmy. 44. Thomas, and at times this week, 16. when Jimmy's been in strong positions Game in tables, he has Thomas had Banks. games like this where he has slipped up. Well, this is a Banks blitz at the moment. He means business, doesn't he? 154 to stay alive, to save his Super Series skin. And he was a fingernail's width away from that treble for a go at a double. Jimmy that was a seriously good attempt. But it is Jimmy who can seal to six points. Yeah, courtesy of that. phenomenal Jimmy finishing. Banshee. That was played in a great spirit. But my word, another comeback victory against Thomas Banks today, and Jimmy had to work so hard for that. It was encapsulating at times, and rapido from start to finish. Jimmy wins it by four legs to three, and the 50% on the doubles, that was the key statistic. And one missed match dart at double 14 for Thomas. That's what cost him his first win in this group in Champions Week. So we take a breather now, and when we come back, it's over to Jimmy Van Ski's closest rival in the table, Derek Coulson, looking to get four wins from four against Jim Long. I've that he didn't go 25 and ball. Game shot on the four flag. The ball not needed for Long, who cleans up the 89 in two darts and levels the match. If this goes in, it's the biggest finish of the day. So big. Oh! 139. Almost in off the post. And Derek survives. This to carry on. The winning streak. The perfect start to his Champions Week. And Derek delivers once again. Coulson claims the win. Long was a whisker away. From a show-stopping 158 checkout that would have seen him pick up the points, but instead, it is four wins on the spin for Derek Colson, who remains unbeaten on the opening day of Group C and leaves long six points behind him after a brilliant game of darts. The numbers illustrate that there. Long goes down with a 97.74 average. Colson posting figures north of 102, and despite his doubling not being quite as sharp, as it was in previous matches, a super scoring meant he gave himself more opportunities and he now has an opportunity to go through the card when he takes on Paul Hogan in his final game. Jimmy Van Ski and Neil Duff will play their last match of the day after this short break. End of this game, if he does win it, he'll be on eight points from a possible 10 on the opening day. He's averaging 
106.19. 108! And let's not forget, Paul, last time he was here, he only played eight games Jimmy on Champions League. Went out eight. in Group B. This could be a darting dream for Jimmy Van Skeet. 40. Now you Dreams can turn 36. into nightmares, though. Yeah, Jimmy can't hit double 18, Milton. but Neil can't. And he's not done yet. A bit of aggression in the way he took that dart out as well. One person's on a two darter. One is not. But it is a two darter now. Big darter tops. 61. Jimmy, the despair you from 71. Duff. Is it ecstasy for Jimmy? Great start. Great dart. Great Good finish. Great day for the Dutchman. Jimmy Van Ski defeats Neil Duff 4-2. A fantastic win that completes a very good day's play for Van Ski. He wins four from five. The only defeat was a big one against Derek Coulson when he went down 4-0. But he is going to be second in the table come the end of the day. Meaning, of course, he's provisionally heading towards finals night. The numbers stack up beautifully for the Dutchman. 104.05 the average. Four out of eight on the doubles. An 86 checkout in there as well. And Vansky signs off in style. Gives Neil Duff something to think about ahead of their meeting early tomorrow. And if he wins that one, well, Vansky will maybe have a foot in finals night. We're going to hear from him after this short break. And then Coulson takes on Hogan. Derek, you require 116. 116s aren't very rare. But stick a fork in leg two if he finds double 18. Game shot on a there it leg. is again. Derek Lethal from Coulson. That is a reluctant, leg. It's Derek respectful fist pump Game right on. there. You don't want your opponent to hit it, but my word about... A one one six. Same double. Game shot on the there we go. Things are changing. The Nath just falls short of leaving tops. If Coulson hits this, this will be a cooler. It'll be a killer for Paul Hogan. But this time Coulson couldn't Paulie keep his cool. 80. And now Hogan has a chance. Does the crocodile snap? He doesn't Great break. And the match, Paul Hogan. He remains rigid and has caused trouble in the table for Derek Coulson, whose 11-match winning streak is done. It's still a good day for Coulson, but it's been a fighting day for Paul Hogan, who is now on six points and is definitely part of the equation. He will play Derek Coulson in game number two on Friday afternoon. And if he beats him again, he'll have the same points as Derek. So interesting in the table now. And we divert our attention to the last game of Group C here in Champions Week on Thursday as Banks looks to get off the mark at the expense of the Canadian Jim Long. And look what happens after the timeout. Work to treat. 95. And well, now it's in his hands. Six darts from here. You would expect to get a dart a double from two on four in this position. 96. That treble 19 has been really handy the last couple of, couple of visits. But he doesn't need that right now. 88. He needs you require the big dog, which is... The chief that is treble 20. And now, double top. 98. Run out of juice. Thomas, you require 170. Speaking of big dogs, here comes the bulldog looking for the big fish. Not going to happen. 70. Jimmy required 20. For a crucial, crucial victory. Jim Long is still going to be Jim in the Long. race to make it through to finals night. I think it's safe to say that Thomas Banks' chances are over. No points on day one in Group C, just like he had no points on day one in Group A. 
And the numbers, well, they were stacking up nicely for Jim Long. He might be a little frustrated not to have won that match 4-0, but he does get over the line 4-2 and takes his points tally to 4. Alongside Neil Duff, two behind Paul Hogan, who in turn is two behind the top two, Derek Coulson and Jimmy Van Ski. Long stays in the fight going into Friday. Paul Nicholson and Henry Deacon will dissect and reflect on all of the action after this break, which won't be long. Welcome back to the Moda Super Series where day one of Group C here at Champions Week has come to a close. And we have co-leaders at the top of the table in Derek Coulson and Jimmy Van Schke. And this is how they did it. These are the results from this afternoon's session. The asset Paul Nicholson has been watching every single dart in the commentary box. And it's been a session which has kind of swung back and forth, not just in terms of who's won games, but in terms of score lines of games. You can see at the beginning of the session, a whole heap of four nils. And then towards the end of the session, well, Four threes and four twos were the flavour of the day. As I say, the asset is alongside me. Let's talk about the two players at the top of the table first. And we'll begin with Derek Coulson, who went on an 11-game unbeaten one before losing that last game there against Paul Hogan. It's fair to say that the momentum that he built up in Week 12, he used to the four here today. Yeah, definitely. His finishing was ridiculous going into that last match. 60% for the day. And... His finishing wasn't necessarily that bad in that fifth game, but Hogan was just too good for him on that occasion on the comeback trail. But Derek's done a lot of damage today. He's got himself in such an advantageous position. And his immediate approach when it comes to Friday is to get one back on Hogan and put himself just a little bit closer to Saturday night. We've been speaking very highly of Derek for quite a while since he first appeared here at the Super Series. He got that second invitation and he really has taken it, hasn't he? He's shown maybe a level above what we saw the first time. Yeah, that's fair. We have the benefit of information these days. It's an information decade. The internet via so many channels, the Motor Super Series being one of those channels because we have the ability to look at averages and look at the way that people finish. I've been impressed with Derek on multiple fronts today. His finishing is top of the list. His averages were quite surprising at times. I didn't think he was going to be delivering what we saw at times today, but he's obviously got that in the locker as well. But the ingenuity of approach work and some of his uh, ideas for finishing show that he's not just an old school dart player over the age of 50. He's someone who learns from the younger generation as to how to do things. He's a lot better than I ever thought he was. And I tipped him to week, uh, win week 12, but he's a lot better for me since then. And it's only been a few days. Well, he's had the best daily average. He has the best daily checkout percentage as well, but he's joined at the top of the table on eight points by Jimmy Van Schke. Now we spoke at the end of yesterday about reset mentality for the three players that dropped out of group A into group C. It's fair to say of the three players, he's the one that's reacted the best. Yeah, and it hasn't been plain sailing for him today. One of the games that he played, and he referenced it with his interview with Chris, he got smashed by somebody. He just didn't lay a glove on one of his opponents, but he's ended up winning against everybody else. The best thing about Jimmy, he's an incredibly friendly guy. We have spent a bit of time with him this week and in the weeks he's been here. But his ability to deflect negativity is maybe his best quality. He wakes up in the morning with positivity and everything he does is glass half full, if not full. And his ability to bounce back from that at gubbing, as Chris Mason would call it, just incredible and phenomenal that he has actually got his space in the top two already. And there's going to be a lot of people in Portsmouth who hope he stays there. When you consider the year that Jimmy's had, he won the Romanian Open at the beginning of the year before his first appearance here. And then from that point onwards, we've seen a player really, really grow. It's perhaps his biggest strength, his mindset, because we know how quality a player he is. When you've hit 1-180 in your life, you have the capability of doing it again. It's about repetition, isn't it? But when we saw Jimmy play for the first time here after winning in Romania, we thought maybe there's something there. After winning his first week, we thought he's gone up a notch. Then winning the second week, hang on, this is a very different player now. This is a sponge type player, just like Tom Sykes. And it might be those two guys who keep following each other over the next couple of years towards some form of greatness because they've definitely got it. A new level has been found by Jimmy today and now his confidence has got to be soaring. 
Well, let's have a look at the table then following the end of the first day's play. Derek Coulson, Jimmy Van Schke, both on eight points. Paul Hogan just in behind on six. But Jim Long and Neil Duff on four points, respectively. Particularly with Neil, they'll feel like they've had really frustrating days. Yeah, frustrating days. However, they're still in the race. So tomorrow's got to be all guns blazing. Neil Duff in this position, this will feel quite familiar because he's been in this situation once before. And Jim Long is in his first Champions Week. He won't be happy with what's happened today. It's been very much up and down. But if he gets a good night's sleep and he comes back in here tomorrow with his best stuff, there's no reason why he can't win all five and get his way to 14 points and into Saturday night. And that might be what he needs. Does it feel like the quintessential Group C, where the first round of fixtures on the Friday may well tell the story for what is going to happen at the end of the day? Could be, but we're somewhat darting masochists, aren't we? We almost like to see people's pain on the stage just for drama. But if things are turned around completely and we see people in fourth and fifth all of a sudden in position to top the table and get second by round five tomorrow, I wouldn't be surprised. This week has delivered from pretty much game three all the way through to what we've seen at the end of today because it's not disappointing and I just want to see what happens next. Just quickly, before we go, a few words on tonight. West, Paxton, Richard, step up because if you don't, you are not going to qualify. This week has been about quality. We've seen it from Marvin. Well, what else are we going to see? I just can't wait to get going. Well, you'll have to wait a few hours. Rest up. See you then. We'll see you tonight as well from 10 o'clock on the Super Series YouTube channel to see how Group B is going to get underway and expect some fireworks there. But as far as Group C is concerned, well, Coulson's top of the pile whilst Jimmy's chasing him at the top of the tree. Bye from us.